Hello and welcome to another episode of today's Shika. I am Pooja Devedi and in this segment we bring to you objective questions on a daily basis to help you crack prelims. So let's begin with the practice question of the last segment. The potential for interference between 5G signals and the radio altimeters long used by pilots has divided the telecom and aviation industry. With regard to altimeters, consider the following statements. The altimeter was patented by Lloyd Epensheet. It was developed in the late 1930s and a malfunctioning altimeter could prompt a plane's computers to warn pilots about phantom obstacles. We have to select the statements which is or are not correct. The first statement is definitely correct. Second is not. Third is also correct. The correct answer is option B. Only the second one is incorrect. A technological innovation that helped pilots fly fighter planes during World War II is now at the heart of the dispute between airlines and AT&T and Verizon over 5G. An altimeter on an, or an altitude meter is an instrument used to measure the altitude of an object above a fixed level. It was first developed in the 1920s but still plays a crucial role in planes helping pilots determine a jet's altitude and its distance from other objects. The altimeter was patented by Lloyd Apensheet, a prolific inventor, and a malfunctioning altimeter could prompt a plane's computers to warn pilots about phantom obstacles or prevent systems from warning pilots about the real threat. Moving on, consider the following statements. Now, Article 340th of the Indian Constitution deals with the appointment of the Commission to investigate the conditions of the backward classes. The Justice Rohini Commission was appointed in 2017 for the subcategorization of other backward classes, OBCs. So, we have to select the correct statement. The correct answer to this question is option C, both 1 and 2. The Apex Court's latest order has made it mandatory that the principles laid down by the Supreme Court for providing reservation to OBCs and local bodies must be followed across the country. Article 340 of the Indian Constitution deals with the appointment of a commissions to investigate the conditions of backward classes. It deals with the need to inter alia identify those socially and educationally backward classes, understand the conditions of their backwardness and make recommendations to remove the difficulties they face. The Justice Rohini Commission was constituted in October 2017 under Article 340 of the Constitution. It is considering the subcategorization of OBC quota and if any particular community or group of communities are benefiting from most from the OBC quota and how to iron out anomalies. The OBCs are granted 27% reservation in jobs and education under the central government and the need for subcategorization arises out of the perception that only a few affluent communities among the 2600 included in central list of OBCs have secured a major part of the 27% reservation. Subcategorization would ensure a more equitable distribution of opportunities in central government jobs and educational institutions. With reference to the Gir National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary, consider the following statements. It is the only natural habitat of leopards. It is inhabited by the Malhari pastoral community. We have to select the correct statement. First statement is not correct. Second is correct. Option B is the correct answer. Recently, the State Board of Wildlife has given the green signal to the telecom major Reliance Geo Infocom to set up mobile towers in the protected area of the Gir Forest and other sanctuaries in Gujarat. The Gir National Park and Wildlife Sanctuary is located in the Junagad district of Gujarat and the Gir Forest is the only natural habitat of Asiatic lions. Gir is often linked with the Maldharis who have survived through the ages by having a symbiotic relationship with the lion. Maldharis are religious pastoral communities living in Gir. Their settlement are called Nessis. Moving on, consider the following statements. All India services officers are recruited by the union government and their services are placed under various state cadres. The total strength of any cadre is calculated by including central deputation reserve, which is around 40% of the sanctioned post. We have to select the statement, which is or are correct. Both are correct. Option C is the correct answer. Recently, the Department for, of Personnel and Training wrote to the states and the, union and the union government proposes to amend Rule 6, Deputation of Cadre Officers of the Indian Administrative Services Rules 1954. AIS officers are recruited by the union government and their services are allotted under various state cadres. They have the accountability to serve both under the state and the centre. States have to depute the All India Services Officers to the central government offices and at any point it cannot be more than 40% of the total cadre strength. Moving on, consider the following statements. 
the 42nd amendment to the constitution introduced article 48a and article 51ag both of which advocated protection and improvement of the environment an environmental impact assessment notification is issued under section 3 of the epa 1986 to impose restrictions on setting up new projects or expansion or modernization of existing projects we have to select the correct statement both are correct option c is the correct answer the 42nd amendment to the constitution of india article 48a and 51a clause g which comes under the dpsp and the fundamental duties respectively article 48a the states shall endeavor to protect and improve the environment and to safeguard the forests and wildlife of the country article 51a clause g shall be the duty of every citizen of india to protect and improve the natural environment an environmental impact assessment notification is issued under section 3 of the epa 1986 to impose restrictions on setting up new projects or expansion or modernization of existing projects consider the following statements the chenab river is formed by the confluence of chandra and bhaga river the bhaga river originates from suritaal lake situated west of the bara lachhala pass in himachal pradesh the ratli hydroelectric project is proposed to be built on the bhaga river we have to select the correct statement first and second are correct third is not correct let's know why option a will be the correct answer recently two men were feared drowned in the chenab in ramban district ratli hydroelectric project is run off the river hydroelectric power station on the chenab river kishtwar district of the indian union territory of jammu and kashmir chenab river rises in the upper himalayas in the lahol and spiti district of himachal pradesh the river is formed by the confluence of two rivers chandra and bhaga at tandi which is 8 km southwest of kelong in the lahol and spiti district the bhaga river originates from surita lake which is situated a few kilometers west of the barala chhala pass in himachal pradesh the chandra river originates from glaciers east of the same pass chenab river flows through the jammu region of jammu and kashmir into the plains of punjab pakistan before flowing into the indus river with respect to the amar jawan jyoti consider the following statements it was established to mark india's victory over pakistan in the 1971 war from 1972 until it was extinguished it was used to be kept alive with the help of cylinders of liquefied petroleum gas or lpg we have to select the correct statement now first statement is correct second is not option a will be the correct answer the government has put out the eternal flame of the amar jawan jyoti underneath india gate and merged it with the one instituted at the national war memorial in 2019 a few hundred meters away the eternal flame at the amar jawan jyoti is underneath india gate in central delhi it was an iconic symbol of the nation's tributes to the soldiers who have died for the country in various wars and conflicts since independence established in 1972 it was to mark india's victory over pakistan in the 1971 war which resulted in the creation of bangladesh since 1972 when it was inaugurated it used to be kept alive with the help of cylinders of liquefied petroleum gas or lpg in 2006 the fuel for the flames was changed from lpg to png that is piped natural gas moving on consider the following statements with respect to the good governance index for 20 districts which is going to be released today by the union home minister for jammu and kashmir the indicator is first of its kind as it will assess performance at the city level it was prepared by the department of administrative reform and public grievances in collaboration with the government of jammu and kashmir so we have to select the correct statement now first statement is incorrect second is correct option b will be the correct answer it is a first of its kind for a union territory it has 58 indicators the framework will assess different aspects of development and district administration in the sectors such as agriculture commerce and industry human resource development public health so this index was prepared by the department of administrative reforms and public grievances in collaboration with the government of jammu and kashmir because it was to be at district level not the city level the first statement is incorrect let's move on thik nath han a zen buddhist monk belonged to which of the following countries the correct answer is option c vietnam thik nath han the revered zen buddhist monk who helped pioneer the concept of mindfulness in the west and socially engaged 
Buddhism in the East has died, he was 95. Nathan was also known as Thay to his followers. He was a Vietnamese Thien Buddhist monk, peace activist and founder of Plum Village tradition, historically recognized as the main inspiration for engaged Buddhism. He spent most of his later life at Plum Village Monastery in southwest France near Thinac. He coined the term engaged Buddhism in his book Vietnam, Lotus in a Sea of Fire. After a 39-year exile, he was permitted to visit Vietnam in 2005. In November 2018, he returned to Vietnam to spend his remaining days at his root temple, Thu Hien Temple, near Hue. Consider the following statements with respect to the contempt of court in Indian judiciary system. The constitution explicitly defines the contempt of the court. The constitution under Article 76 gives the Attorney General the power to consent for proceedings against any private individual under the contempt of court. So we have to select the statement which is or are not correct. Both are not correct. Option C is the correct answer. Attorney General K.K. Venu Gopal gave consent to a Mumbai-based activist to initiate criminal contempt of court proceedings against Yati Narsinghanand. According to the Contempt of Court Act 1971, contempt of court can either be civil or criminal. Under Section 15, the Contempt of Courts Act 1971, the consent of the Attorney General or the Solicitor General is required before the Supreme Court can take cognizance of a contempt of court plea by a private individual. In the case of Supreme Court, the Attorney General or the Solicitor General and in the case of High Court, the Advocate General may bring in a motion before the court for initiating a case of criminal contempt. However, if the motion is brought by any person, the consent in writing of the Attorney General or Advocate General is required. The objective behind requiring the consent of AG before taking cognizance of a complaint is to save the time of the court. Moving on, consider the following statements. In 1938, he was elected President of the INC, that is Indian National Congress, and formed a National Planning Committee. He was elected Mayor of Calcutta while in prison. He was critical of Gandhiji's more conservative economics as well as his less confrontational approach towards independence. We have to see which of the historical icons are being devoted to by the following statements. The correct answer is option D, Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. In order to commemorate the 125th birth anniversary of the great freedom fighter Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose and as part of the year-long celebrations, the government has decided to install a grand statue of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose at India Gate in New Delhi. Netaji Bose joined the non-cooperation movement started by Mohandas Karamchand Gandhiji who had made the INC a powerful non-violent organization. He was advised by him to work under Chitranjan Das, a politician in Bengal. He was elected mayor of Calcutta while in prison. In 1938, he was elected president of the INC and formed a national planning committee. He was critical of Gandhiji's more conservative economics as well as his less confrontational approach towards independence. Moving on to the practice question. Which of the following countries do not have a border with the Red Sea? Syria, Sudan, Yemen, Eritrea. So that's it for today. Tomorrow we shall meet again with another segment. Until then, stay updated and thank you so much for watching.